Man, guys, I, I really got to tell you, I didn't think that Shazam Fury of the Gods was going to be beaten by any other movie for being the worst movie of all time in terms of a superhero movie, at least coming from DC. But apparently we have a new winner and that winner is Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle, my Spanish people, Blue Beetle has actually beaten Shazam Fury of the Gods for being the worst movie currently ever made by DC. And my God, is that a major statement? As you guys are aware shazam fury of the gods was a massive failure the likes of which we haven't seen in a very long time up until just recently where blue beetle just now after its third week has finally passed 100 million dollars at the global box office not even domestic at the global box office that makes it even more of a mega failure shazam fury of the gods ended its streak at 134 million i believe globally and this movie is 34 million dollars shy of that movie it is insane so let's get into this article guys from good old show media website tbr but of course before we do just consider giving this video a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm and i apologize again if my voice sounds like crap it's because i'm still sick but i'm still recording videos because as you guys know I don't stop. So it says Blue Beetle flies above 100 million at the global box office. DC's Blue Beetle finally drags past that $100 million milestone in its third week. In a piece of revealing news, relieving news for DC Studios, their latest superhero flick, Blue Beetle, has managed to break through the 100 million mark worldwide during its fourth weekend. Despite an overall positive critical reception, the film followed the DCEU streak of box office disappointments. Failing to spark interest among fans, the film has not even reached the equivalent figure of its modest $104 million budget and is certainly not going to break even, thus raising speculations about the future of the character in the upcoming DC Universe. Guys, <laughs> wow, man, this is... This is pretty telling. And you know what? It couldn't have happened to a better person. Angel Manuel Soto. It couldn't happen, have happened to a better person. This guy is such a moron. He really, really is. If you look at all the statements that he has made, if it's not coming from his PR team, that he is genuinely an idiot. And you know what? He deserves every bit of failure that he's getting right now because he has decided that identity politics is number one over anything over storytelling, over acting, over the actual presentation of the movie. It is number one over anything. He finally got to tell that amazing immigration movie that he wanted to make. He finally got to tell that story through Blue Beetle. That was all he wanted to do. Now he can go apply for a job in politics. That's that's basically what we got here. So it says, starring Cobra Kai Zolo Mar Mariduena as a titular superhero and directed by Angel Manuel Soto, the film initially struggled in the box office and failing to reach even 50 million globally in debut weekend. However, it showed a, a stronghold in the subsequent weekends, dropping less than any other DCEU movie since the pre-pandemic release of Birds of Prey. After weeks of an uphill battle, Blue Beetle currently stands at 100.9 million as it races the 134 million collection of this year's Shazam Fury of the Gods to dodge the title of being the lowest grossing DCEU movie ever. However, the underperforming debut cast doubts on the franchise standing in the superhero genre. And in following its disappointing $25 million opening weekend in North America, it had become evident that Jamie Reyes' original story did not resonate with audiences as strong as almost any other superhero film. The film industry strikes has also prevented the cast from promoting the film leading up to its release. The ongoing DC Extended Universe is set to conclude later this year with the release of Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom, which further reduced fans' interest in the movie. Moreover, the film was caught in the middle of the ongoing Barbenheimer effect, which has caused almost every July and August release least to fail against blockbuster box office runs of Barbie and Oppenheimer. Well, here's the thing. So Barbie and Oppenheimer should prove that uh, you don't have to promote the film in order for it to be successful. You know, they try to throw that little dig in there that, oh, the actors didn't get to promote the film. And that's probably why it's not doing as well. I don't believe that at all, because ultimately people knew that the movie was coming out for a long time. The actors were able to promote it while they weren't on strike for a long time. And they just recently went on strike over the past few weeks to a little over a month. So, 
the fact that they weren't able to promote it now i really highly doubt that did anything plus barbie and oppenheimer were under the same scrutiny and they were able to be massively successful even without promotion from the actors that are in it so i don't really think that argument holds a lot of water and i think it's an excuse from them trying to make it seem as if oh this movie failed for external reasons other than being an identity politics ridden piece of shit that they were forcing on people and forcing on hispanics in general as some sort of like victory movie for hispanics in terms of representation it was the most stupid thing i've ever seen but again guys we kind of all saw this coming we knew that this movie was not going to do well and i gotta admit it makes me interested to see where aquaman and the lost kingdom is going to do i think aquaman is a much more well-known character so i think just by that alone it's going to do better than blue beetle but it's not going to do as good as they're probably hoping i think dc is really dead man i, I don't know if it's just dc in its current form that's dead or dc as a whole is dead because i don't know if james gunn is going to be able to save dc from these abysmal numbers these are terrible these are absolutely terrible numbers in every way imaginable and it really goes to show that dc is uh putting its foot in its mouth right they should have focused on telling singular stories that they were very good at right set within their own world obviously you guys know you have the batman movies you guys know about joker which was a great movie as well they're very good at telling singular stories based in their own world but once they started to do the whole dcu nonsense they've been failing since then they haven't been able to get anything together like the mcu it's very hard to recreate that magic and people are just not interested as much as they were prior and the numbers don't lie so i think ultimately dcu is going to probably be a massive failure we're going to see if james gunn can pull it out from the graveyard right now but i do think they're basically two feet into the grave at this point and i don't think there's any saving them anymore so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out